Hey boys and girls, this is Mrs. P. I'm going to read you this book about love. The book's big, so I have to pick it up so you can move it around the camera so you can see. This is written by Matt De La Pena and illustrated by Lauren Long. Love, and this is the title page. In the beginning, there is light and two wide-eyed figures standing near the foot of your bed, and the sound of their voices is love. It's the side of your crib. A cab driver plays love softly on his radio while you bounce and back with the bumps of the city. And everything smells new and it smells like life. Love, too, is the smell of crashing waves and a train whistling blindly in the distance. And each night, the sky above your trailer turns the color of love. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle toward summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide, and soon you're running among them and the echo of your laughter. That's love. On the night the fire alarm blares, you're pulled from sleep and whisked into the street where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they've flamed out, she tells you, and the shine they shine with is love. But it's not only stars that flame out, you discover. It's summers, too. And friendships. And people. And one day, you find your family nervously huddled around the TV. But when you ask what happened, they answer with silence. And they shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night, you're searching for a love that seems lost. And you open and close drawers and lift cushions and empty old toy bins. But there's nothing. <clears throat> you wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, It's okay. It's okay. It's love. And in time... You learn to recognize a love overlooked, a love that wakes at dawn and rides to work on the bus, a slice of burned toast that tastes like love. And it's a love in each deep crease of your grandfather's face as he lowers himself onto an overturned bucket to fish.
and its love in the rustling leaves of gnarled trees lined behind the flower fields. And its love in the made-up stories your uncles tell in the backyard between old wild horseshoe throws. And the man in rags outside the subway station plays love notes that lift into the sky like tiny beacons of light. And the face staring back in the bathroom mirror This, too, is love. So when time comes for you to set off on your own, <clears throat> heavy winds will sweep past your building and great gray clouds will congregate above. And your loved ones will stand there like puddles beneath their umbrellas, holding you tight and kissing you and wishing you luck. Whoops, I almost didn't show you that picture. Maybe it's when you go away to go to school or something. But it won't be luck you'll leave with because you'll have love. And you'll have love, love, love. And this love belongs to, and you could put your name right in there. And that's the end of the love book. Goodbye, boys and girls. <laughs>